Welcome everybody to the final ceremony of Produktronica Fast Forward 2021. It's nice to see that the audience is growing and more and more people actually joining. That's great. So please take a seat because that's going to be a really special event now. We're going to announce the three winners of this year's Fast Forward 2021. And uh, yeah, maybe let's have a short um, discussion or talk about what is the history of Fast Forward. Together with Messe Munich, we have created um, Electronica Fast Forward 2016. It's the first time. And it was a, a pilot project together with Elector. And we made it happen that we had more than 20 startups present during the fair at this time. And it was actually a successful story because those startups are still making a good job and actually are actively um, working on their production lines and on their services. And um, yeah, that was also the reason to say, okay, we're going to produce more fast forwards. And we came together with the team of Productronica back in 2019 and we made the first Productronica fast forward. And nowadays, so to say, we have the second stage reached. It's not a pilot project anymore. It is a well-proven concept, and now it's the time to say this year we have to announce new startups. Um, over the past five years, to wrap it up shortly, what happened? We had 50 startups, more than 50 startups, with more than 20 different nationalities on, st on the stage. So you could definitely say it is an international um, startup competition, and we had pitches which had a big variety, but they were all linked to the themes and topics of Electronica and Productronica. And in this year, in 2021, we had 13 finalist startups. And those 13 uh, finalist startups, they all had great ideas, great pitches, and great innovations. And it was actually a tough decision for the jury to make and to announce only three winners. But next to me is Stuart Cording moderating this show. Hi Stuart, how are you doing? Very well Udo, thanks ever so much for inviting me to participate in working on this event with you. It's been absolutely fantastic over the years to see the Fast Forward Startup Awards grow. I myself am a failed startup entrepreneur so I know how difficult it can be um, and of course they say if you've done it wrong once then you should just try again and you'll do better next time. And I'm really pleased to see the uh, startups are here and also to see Elector so involved in this. As a child, I read Elector. Um, I've had the, been allowed to participate with the team and contribute to Elector in the last few years. And then to be here on the stage today, this really means something very special to me, uh, especially being involved with startups as well. So thank you every, very much for that opportunity. Also, great thanks to the Mesa Munich for their support. Um, we need a platform, we need other people around us who are peers who've done all the things wrong and can tell us um, what we should be doing right. So this is a really, really important part, I think, of, of events like Productronica. Definitely, definitely. Completely agree with you. And I think it is not just uh, Messe Munich Productronica, but it is also an international network which helps us to achieve those um, results and who also helps us to bring the startups on the stage. So I think it is also really important to say who helped us this year, Stuart. Maybe you take it over. Exactly. So sponsorship is an important part of making these things happen. So we're indebted to Balvazin, uh, represented by Paolo Coviseri. He's head of technical support and area sales manager for Balvazin. And they're based in Balvin, Germany, and a leading manufacturer of alloys and lead-free soldering products for the electronics industry. And their products are suited to everything from hand soldering to wave soldering. So thank you to them for their support. We also have our gold sponsor, Almit, uh, represented by Fabian Mendel. He's the business development manage manager. Uh, Almit was founded in 1956, and their solder wire has actually been approved for use in the NASA Space Shuttle program. So you can understand the requirements that are necessary to be fulfilled in order to participate in that sort of application. Almit is a future-oriented business, a uh, family business as well, and they deliver solder wires, pastes, and lead-free solders. So thank you to them for being our gold sponsor this year at the Fast Forward Awards. And of course, our third sponsor, we thank our platinum sponsor, the NCAB Group Germany, uh, represented today by Benjamin Klingenberg, the managing director for Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. 
NCAB Group was founded in 1993 and is today a leading global PCB supplier. They've been delivering PCBs for demanding customers on time with zero defects, produced sustainably and at lowest total cost. With that, I'd like to invite Benjamin Klingenberg up to the stage to join us here in the middle. We're just going to get you a microphone. And we'd just like to ask you a couple of questions because obviously taking on this sort of uh, work in sponsorship, um, that's not something that every company is always prepared to do. So why does NCAB Group, uh, are, why are you so interested in supporting startups and these sorts of initiatives? Yeah, thanks. Uh, first of all, Stuart and Udo for inviting me today. Uh, special day for us today. Um, we've seen a lot of great um, initiatives here and uh, I, it was really a difficult to de this decision so um, yeah happy to be here uh, why do we do this um, I think uh, one of our uh, values is responsibility and I think for a well uh, established company like NCAB it is also our responsibility to boost startups and to support uh, to bring up new ideas and bring them into the industry and you were also a juror, one of the people making the decision as to who should actually win this year. And um, that must be exciting on the one side, but also exceptionally challenging. What were you looking for as a juror? Yeah, um, so it was important for us that it's a sustainable uh, product and uh, that it brings something to the people. Um, maybe uh, direct or may it be indirect uh, by supporting sustainable ideas, by supporting uh, ideas for education, um, health, stuff like that. And that's important for our company as, uh, as one of our values. And that's something that we definitely focused on. Super. Well, it's great to see you here today supporting us. And we'll be inviting you back up to the stage later to present one of the awards. So in the meantime, I'd like to say thank you very much. A quick round of applause there for Benjamin Klingenberg. Thank you. So, with that, we can move on to uh, actually presenting our awards. Yeah, it's time. Here's that time already. We are all uh, waiting for it, I think. <laughs> so, um, let's not make any more pressure to the audience, because I think everyone is now a bit sweaty on the fingers, and I think the winners also want to get their prizes. So, let's get started. Stuart, who do we have on the third place? So, our third place winner of this year's Productronica Fast Forward Awards is Posey. Posey is represented today by Dr. Laszlo Georgipal, who is the CEO. And Posey has introduced us to an, a new business that's providing full visibility in manufacturing and logistics to identify and eliminate waste and inefficient processes. To date, with the installations that they've currently made, they've Im implemented improvements of up to 25 to 30 um, percent, and they're making logistics solutions smart through tra tags and tracking. To date, they've had a success in their business in Hungary, and they're currently looking to expand into international markets. We're also very glad to see representatives here from the Hungarian Embassy, who've been working with us at Elector to bring um, Hungarian businesses together with this um, activity, this, this award. So that's really, uh, really great to see. What we'd like to do is to invite uh, Dr. Laszlo Georgipal up to the stage, please. And also uh, here today is Eric Janssen, the Managing Director of Elector, who will uh, come up to uh, present this award. So congratulations, so a round of applause, please, for our third place winner. Yep. Oh, I got it. Thank you so much. So, uh, Dr. Georg Bell, thank you so much for participating and is a fantastic solution. I enjoyed reading about it myself. Uh, could you tell our audience today a little bit more about what it is you've been working on and the successes that you've managed to have thus far? Um, let me uh, just give, give you a, a very quick uh, background of how did we get, not just here, but on, the, on this market. Uh, uh, everyone or the general audience thinks that manufacturing is, is a very, very precise and very efficient operation. And uh, we started challenging that, and it, we turned out to be right on this matter. Uh, it is not the most efficient uh, from a number of aspects, uh, mostly because uh, manufacturers practically don't know what is going on in their uh, uh, operations. Uh, they know what is going on on the machinery, but they don't know what is going on around that. 
And in order to uh, identify and uh, 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 eliminate waste, you need to know what is going around. And this is what we do. We identify and, and, and uh, uh, locate everything that takes part in the uh, production process. That can be raw materials, parts, uh, containers, milk crumbs, whatever it moves. And uh, with that, we translate digitally the entire physical operation to a set of data. And if you have that set of data, then you can see what is wasteful and what is uh, resourceful. And that's one of the fascinating things I, I saw in your video presentation as well, and also the number of sensors that you're able to distribute in a logistics center. What's the importance of awards like the Productronica Fast Forward Award for a startup like yourself? Why are these sort of events important and, this, and, and uh, the participation in them? Well, for every startup, the main or the, the most uh, important uh, uh, aspect of our life so far, besides technology, because that's given, proven, and it works, is uh, exposure, is visibility. And uh, events like this, and especially awards like this, give us the opportunity to, to uh, uh, first of all, to, to present ourselves uh, to uh, the market, and uh, even more importantly, to raise awareness of the problem that we're trying to solve, uh, because that is the biggest obstacle that, that we have to overcome. Uh, most of the, the companies that we face are in the very fake knowledge of their operation being totally right. And we challenge that. That's, that's a tough thing to do. So awards like this show the, the, the audience and the markets that, that uh, whatever we challenge is rightfully done so. Absolutely. And I admire you very much for, for championing that and trying to show people that it can be done better. That's a, a very important part of the, of the business development process. I'd like to turn now to Eric, our managing director from Elector. Um, why is the Startup Award so important for Elector? And what do we, what do we achieve for our community? Well, I think um, uh, as a lector, we have been a startup for uh, around about 60 years, uh, this year exactly. Um, and I think, uh, you know, the, the, the youthness of uh, entrepreneurship, uh, you know, the, the, the way you face uh, the world as, uh, as a company without much baggage, uh, it really uh, makes the, the world your playground. And I think uh, that it's, that's something that we stand for. Uh, at Elector, and you know, we're we're very happy. Uh, first of all, to to be able to award uh, again uh, the the fast forward awards live uh, together with Messi Munich, of course, uh, again this year after the weird years we've had, and um, yeah, so it's for us, it's it's a it's a, a way of presenting uh, new and innovative uh, ideas that, of course, Elector does in its magazines and in its its media. Uh, throughout uh, the last 60 years already. So yeah, that's why. That's fantastic. So with that, I'd like to invite the prize to come up to the stage as well. The prize is invited. <laughs> so with there our third go. prize. Your prize. <laughs> OK, so everyone, everyone, uh, clap your hands for the third prize. Thank you so much. Posey. So apart Thank from you. your eternal glory, there's also a, a reward involved for 15,000 euro in marketing value. Uh, and we're looking forward to, together with you, uh, decide on how that would fit uh, your company the best. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, let me uh, uh, just say a few words about our team back home that actually made this possible. I am merely a, a runner of this business. They are the ones who actually yeah. uh, do this technology. We will not spend it all at once. Uh, and uh, we are looking forward to monetize it in the best possible way. Thank you so much. Super. Congratulations. Thank you. So we're just, gonna, we're just gonna stand on the stage for a moment and look towards the cameras uh, so that we have a still for our uh, photographers. Super. And we say thank, thank you, you very much. much. Congratulations and all, all the success in the world. That's, that's box. Yes. There you Thank go. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. A round of applause there, please, for Porti. <laughs> so with that, I pass back to Udo. Who have we got in second place? Uh, we do have two more. That's correct. Yes. And um, I think we started off with an already pretty amazing startup. But um, again, there's always someone who can compete better, who has a better solution, or who has an idea which is more interesting for the engineers. And that's why I would like to announce the second prize, which is going this year to a startup, which is based in Germany, 
It's a spin-off from University Münster, and it's called Redu. And uh, with that said, um, Redu is basically an open source software and hardware system which is supporting an educational approach. So what do they do? They manufacture a sense box which is triggering um, data like um, environmental data, emission data, um, and also um, other measuring um, data. So they collect the data which is um, out there in the field and they basically um, put it in the open source network. So a lot of people have access to this data and they can actually um, see what is going on in my street, for example, how high is the emission in this street, um, and maybe I can do something with this data in order to make it a better street and in order to actually make a difference. So this startup is definitely um, one startup which has a really nice sustainable approach. And with that technology and with that set, I would like to um, ask Thomas Batuchek, the CEO and co-founder from Redu on stage, as also Mr. Dr. Martin Lechner, the executive director from Messe Munich. So thank you for joining us up here on the stage. Congratulations. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah, Thomas, um, I already explained a bit, but I think um, there's no better person to explain what your company is about than yourself. So maybe you give it a short wrap up. What is your startup about? Yes, thanks a lot, Udo. Um, yeah, I'll give it a try. So maybe I start with uh, the last phrase uh, I said more or less like that in the application video we had to, we had to submit. Uh, so at Redo, uh, we care about the future of education and the future of our environment. What would be more important? And these are the two problems and the two issues we want to tackle with our main product, Sensebox. So, so as you mentioned, uh, one major part is collecting a lot of data, open data about our environment. This may be data that can help in questions around climate change, air pollution, uh, noise pollution, or um, light pollution, so different uh, environmental phenomena that, that uh, we care about. Um, and how are we going to do it? Yeah? Everybody can set up a sense box without knowing how to build such electronic devices, how to code them. Uh, we have the systems to teach people, um, kids at school, uh, students at university, but also citizen scientists, how to build such a device, how to code it, and how to collect the right data. We have these uh, systems, the software to do that, and also a platform, as you mentioned, the Open Sense Map, where this data is then uh, published and uh, available to anyone. One, yeah? It has a license that, uh, among uh, uh, the text uh, of the license, says uh, it's um, it's uh, data for the of the humanity. It belongs to the humanity. So uh, this is the approach, and we are trying to make the best out of it, and trying really to form the future of education and the environment. Perfect. Thank you very much for the short pitch of your startup. Maybe one last question um, to you. How came up, uh, why did you come up with this idea to make it open, to make it available for everyone? What was the triggering point? So, uh, my background and the background of the most of our team at Redo is in geoinformatics. Um, and we really follow, already at the university, we follow the open source approach uh, in, in many and even all things we do, basically. And we really believe that open source, even as a business model, uh, can really trigger a lot of innovations. Uh, more innovations than, than closed or black box system can do. So that's why we really took this approach of open source and open data and made it also the key of our business. And uh, we still believe and see that it really works and are really happy about that. <laughs> yeah, indeed. And your community is also growing and growing. And that is also due to the fact that it's available for everyone who is interested in this um, kind of data measuring and data collecting. Well, thank you again. And a short question to Mr. Dr. Martin Lechner. It's really nice to have you here on stage, and it's really nice that you made this show happen with all those circumstances. But we have heard that a lot of times, so I don't want to ask any question about that. I just have one question to you. What are actually startups for Messe Munich and especially for Produktronika? Thank you very much for the question, Jens. Udo, um, first of all, thanks to our customers and partners that this could happen, because uh, without their strong involvement and um, their yes to the show, it wouldn't be possible to have the show these days. Uh, you know that uh, we have challenging times and uh, it is still um, 
challenging ahead and we don't know um, what will bring the next, the next weeks. Uh, that's first of all. Second, um, answering your question, um, the, the cooperation with you, with Elector, with Donna, uh, is uh, hopefully a long-standing one as uh, we feel that uh, for the clients, the exhibitors here at the show, uh, talents are becoming more and more important. And uh, the reason why they are participating at shows like this is Yes, they have qualified visitors and B2B visitors and especially through the startups, uh, young talents and uh, takes a chance and while we are always talking about booster, um, now take uh, Prototonica as a booster for your career, yeah? take the chance, um, go to the exhibitors and, and try to get in touch with them. Uh, they are more than open to talk to you and uh, get in touch with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then I would say it's time to get the prize in your hands. Here we go. As a second prize, you're going to get 25,000 also marketing budget in Elector. And uh, let's give it a big applause, everyone, for the second prize, Redu. And then have a look in the camera. <laughs> so two of three have been announced. That only leaves one left, if my mathematics is correct still. I think so, Stuart. <laughs> it has been a long exhibition so far, but it's been a lot, that a lot was of planning. Correct. We're still in there. So, with that, we'd like to introduce our first place winner of the Productronica Fast Forward Awards 2021. The winner is IOTech, and to receive the award, we have Herve Javis, CEO and co founder of IOTech, with us today. IOTech is headquartered in London, in the UK, and have a research and development operation running in, in Israel. They have developed Continuous Laser Assisted Deposition, or, the, or CLAD, which is an additive manufacturing process for PCBs and other aspects of electronics manufacturing. So with that, I'd like to inv invite Herve Javes uh, here to the stage to join us, please, along with our platinum sponsor, Benjamin Klingenberg from NCAB Group Germany. Please join us. So congratulations. Back on the stage here with us today for Productronica. Uh, the, the technology is unbelievable. I was looking at the video again last night just to understand it. And uh, it's, it's to, to see the video with the laser working and, and applying material to a sheet of plastic, it's, it's very similar to some of the science fiction movies we've seen where structures have been created seemingly. But obviously, that was, that was just made up. And, and now we see that as a reality. Uh, what, what has been the key to the, your success in getting this technology to the stage it's at today? That's a very good question. And, and the worst is that it works, which is <laughs> unbelievable. And the success is, is very simple. Uh, I went out, I spoke with uh, uh, Michael Zenu, uh, Dr. Michael Zenu, and after six months, I convinced him that it would be his place was doing a startup with me. So that's how it worked. And the rest is, is, is history. <laughs> What uh, happened then is that we started working on a technology. We had no idea what we would do with it, but the technology was right. And working on technology parallel, we were basically trying to find the right application. It took some time, but after two, two years, I figured out that there was a critical need in uh, electronics, and now we went basically uh, straight away. So we were technology with an application, and there was something missing. When you, have, you are alone, you have a technology, you have an application, then you need friends. And this is when we met uh, ASM Pacific Technology, great equipment manufacturer, uh, and Henkel, one of the leading material manufacturers. And we connected with them. They connected us with the industry. And having both the uh, technology, the uh, application, and the connection with the industry, this becomes a real business. Exactly. I think that's one of the most important things for any startup is to have that collaboration, have those partners, have those, those networks in place. And hopefully through the Fast Forward Awards, we can also help to expand that as well. So what's your next plan for CLAD technology? So the, immediately what we are doing is basically we're coming to, to market. Uh, um, the, the fields we are working in are the uh, semiconductor uh, assembly. This is the, the PCB manufacturing. And, uh, and, and assembly, but the, 
the, the potential applications are, are amazing. If you think about it, because people don't, don't know exactly what it is, and they know what uh, uh, deposition is. So just imagine that you have something, uh, CLAD, that has the throughput of screen printing, that has the flexibility of dispensing machines, and which has the precision of jet printing. And this is a summary of what, uh, what we have. And on top of that, I know that you're speaking about, about, about uh, sustainability, which is critical. And when you do a PCB, you are doing etching, and etching is not the best for the environment. When you do additive manufacturing, you have the position of what you need, and it's a clean, it's a much greener technology. So the, today we are starting with uh, uh, solder paste and adhesives, and tomorrow we'll be printing PCBs. So it's, it's a process, but we already have uh, interested buyers, and this fair, Protronic, has been tremendous. The excitement we've seen at our booth is unbelievable. And I can confirm that. I was talking to somebody earlier that was trying to get in touch with you to talk to you, and they said there, was just, uh, there wasn't even standing room in order to, uh, to get in touch and talk to you. So we're really grateful for you being here today and explaining some more details. I'd like to turn to our platinum sponsor now, Benjamin Klingenberg. Uh, you were yeah. on the ju jury. This, um, this, this idea, this new startup technology, is the one that shone out the most to get first place. I have an idea as to why this might be interesting to someone in the PCB industry. Maybe you'd like yeah. to put it in your own words. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing PCB since 21 years now. It's all subtractive. Of course, there are approaches in the uh, additive technology, but this is outstanding. Congratulations to what you're doing there. You, you just mentioned it. You started with solder paste. Your next level is now PCBs, and I guess that's not the end. So uh, amazing. Congratulations to you and your team. And I'm really curious what will come out in the next years. Thank you very much. Great. So a round of applause there, please, for our first place winner, the Productronica Fast Forward Awards 2021. And uh, Benjamin, please give your, our 50,000 euro marketing prize to IOTech Group. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And Thank well you. deserved, I think. Thank you Thank ever you. so much. So... I think every startup, to mention that at the end, really had a good pitch this year, and it was a really tough decision, but IOTech really um, hit the cherry on the ice cake, so you really had an outstanding project, and you were awarded, rightly so, this prize. And before we wrap it up, we would like to ask every startup to come back to the stage here to make a nice group picture. We try to keep the distance. <laughs> So, and I think they also deserve another round of clapping and um, for their <laughs> outstanding technologies. Thank you so much. Exactly. So, if you'd like to come up here to the middle of the stage. Let's have IOTIC in the middle, redo on the left-hand side, maybe. Lovely. Thank you. Super. So, thank you ever so much. Congratulations Thanks to all so our much. participants, not only the ones that are on the stage today, but everybody who's been involved. Thank you for the continued support of Elector for the Fast Forward Awards, the support from all our partners as well, the Messe Munich as well for the continued support and tie in with this fantastic exhibition, which is a key part of keeping our industry connected and keeping people connected, even in difficult times such as these. So, with that, we'd like to wrap up. Any last words from you, Udo? I think so. Um, you said everything uh, loud and clear. It, it was, again, not an easy one due to facts. But again, I think we have really outstanding startups. And I'm really happy that what comes in the next years from you guys. Um, because I think there is so much potential that we already see here and that you already put in your pitch. But I think it would be really interesting to see what will be in two, three, four years. And maybe then you're going to be one of the exhibitors and you're going to be the sponsors of the Fast Forward. Who knows? But <laughs> until then, you deserve every, every um, acknowledgement from everyone here in the room. And um, congratulations. So thank you for joining us today here at Productronica for the Fast Forward Awards with Elector for 2021. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you.